Wow, I had an amazing, amazing time of learning from Lisa Nichols, uh, the free masterclass on how to speak and inspire people. And she shared four powerful steps, which I'm now revising what the steps are. And the four steps, first is to tell a story. The story is something that is true about ourselves, something that we own. And when we tell a story, we are setting up the stage for connection. Because there are so many ways people can reach out to an audience, whether on social media, online or on the stage offline. But what's really important is connection. People are looking for real human connection. And story is one sure way to establish that connection. So just telling a story and no one can refute the story, it's our own and it helps people to remember who you are based on your story and it's helpful to set the stage in terms of time when it happens and where it happens so that's number one story number two is to okay i'm going to recollect the the, the points that i made number two is to be to slow down. Number two is to slow down, to show and not tell. Show and don't tell. So when we slow down, we go into the detail, we may use our body language and hand gestures or gestures to illustrate what happened then, how we felt and how we went into the valley and how we came out of the valley. So we draw the audience into something that is, goes beyond intellectual and into the and experience into our life. That brings us to number three, that's authenticity. That we do not need to add anything that is unreal. We are simply sharing what is real, what is true, what really happened, how we really felt. And authenticity is also vulnerability and that's true power when we are vulnerable it feels like we are weak but that's true power we often want to play safe but Lisa Nico teaches us not to play safe we take risks to be vulnerable and open up to how we experience negative so-called negative emotions like doubts fear despair depression and we are in fact helping people to tap into their own fear, their own doubt, so that they can also work through their own inner issues together with us. So that's power, that's powerful. And it's empowering, especially when we go through the valley with the audience and out of the valley, because it gives people hope. And the other people want to hear a hero or a heroine story and their journey with us. And when they see how we come out of the valley, they ignite that resilience in them. And they become the hero or the heroine that they never knew they had all along inside themselves. And number four is to have the conviction because when we stand up for something, we become even more memorable to them. They will remember who we are. They will remember what we stand for. So that key point is to have the courage to have the conviction, to share the conviction, regardless of whether we think people may, some people in the audience may disagree with us. That's okay. We have to make peace with that. We have to accept the fact that not everyone will agree with us and similarly we may not agree with other people but we can appreciate the fact that other people can have their conviction and share that with us and so that's the four powerful tips that I learned from the master class and thank you for listening be blessed see you next time